Hey guys, this is Snake Shadow Collectibles and today we're gonna review the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Let's start by talking about the box. So on the front we can see a picture of the figure posing as well as some nice art of the Green Ranger with the dagger. On this side we have the Green Ranger with the morpher. On the back we can see all the accessories. And on this side we have nice art of all the rangers together. Now let's check the presentation. From what I can see, the paint job is pretty clean and the details look pretty accurate. Here's a closer look at the helmet. Let's take one last look of the figure before I talk about the articulation. So just like the Red Ranger, he doesn't have much range looking up or down, however he can fully rotate and tilt his head. He has butterfly joints that allow movement to the front and back, a nice up crunch to the front, to the back, he can lean and he can rotate. The arms can rise up to this point, down, fully rotate. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, the hand can rotate, and it has a hinge. The legs can drop, this is the range to the front, to the back, to the sides. It has a tight swivel, double jointed knee a good ankle rocker and good range up well up not so much but down it's better as for accessories it has the candle and two power effects a tommy head which i think just looks okay the blaster and two accessories to make the bigger weapon two fist hands a pair of open hands that are slightly different two grabbing hands another hand to hold the morpher the morpher which has a lot of detail for being such a small accessory and the dagger which is also painted really well. Before giving my conclusion, I'm showing this figure with the dragon shield and bracelets because I know that a lot will get the red ranger just to have this one with the complete appearance. By the way, these pieces were really easy to remove and put on him so I don't think that you need a tutorial or anything to do it. Let's take one last look at the green ranger looking this way. So for my conclusion, just as the Red Ranger, I think that this is a great figure that could have better leg articulation. However, it's still an easy recommendation for Power Rangers fans, and if you can get the Green and Red Ranger together to complete this one, it's even better. Thanks for watching this review. Remember to comment, share, like, and subscribe to support my content, and I'll see you in my next video.